In the food and beverage industry, cooling is an important process. In refrigeration plants, most commonly the safety mm. engineer and the technician mm. are responsible for keeping the plant running. They validate all work and safety processes to ensure a smooth production flow, including the maintenance of complex cooling systems. Cooling systems basically work like a refrigerator. The cold is not introduced into the fridge, but rather the heat is extracted from the stored goods and then directed outwards. This principle is also applied in industrial cooling systems. If you want to cool a room, the heat must first be removed from the space and then directed out of the area. Milk storage tanks in dairies, for example, are kept cold by a compressor. Heat is extracted from the cooling tanks and is then directed into the compressor room. This is facilitated by the special properties of the coolant that circulates inside the compressor. In refrigeration plants, ammonia, or NH3 for short, is mostly used as the coolant. It is an efficient coolant, thanks to its thermodynamic properties, which allow it to generate cooling powers with an extremely low energy consumption. Ammonia is available in unlimited quantities and is not expensive to procure. Each year, over 130 million tons of ammonia are produced globally, which makes it one of the most manufactured chemicals in the industry. Also, the substance is recommended from an environmental perspective. It neither contributes to ozone layer depletion nor global warming. Sounds great! However, ammonia is toxic and involves considerable risks when used as a coolant in industrial plants. At high concentration levels, the gas is corrosive to skin and mucous membranes. Inhalation causes dry coughing. <laughs> Ammonia's acrid smell makes it easily detectable. However, people working with ammonia every day can become desensitized, and so the nose cannot be used as a reliable detector. Due to these characteristics, ammonia can lead to potentially hazardous situations in industrial plants, like during routine maintenance tasks. A mistake can lead to a momentous leakage and consequently the gradual escape of ammonia. The dangerous ammonia concentration in the air causes an immediate gas alarm. Now the measures developed by the safety management take effect and employees must leave the plant immediately. The consequence of such accidents is obvious. Production is down and produced goods can be contaminated, regardless of whether it was a real or false alarm. That's why leaks in particular must be reliably detected. For locating leaks, additional portable gas detectors are required for the emergency personnel. Only when the leak is repaired can production be restarted. The safety engineer is responsible for the measures which ensure a safe usage of ammonia in the plant. So what would a system for his plant look like that could detect ammonia reliably and accurately? Fundamental to the safety of the plant is a stationary gas detection system. For early detection of gas leaks, a number of transmitters are fitted in the compressor room, the valve stations and also perhaps the cooling chamber. Just like inside and outside the refrigerator, the temperatures vary significantly in these different places. Whether warm, fluctuating or cold, the sensors must master these rough conditions and precisely measure the NH3 concentration and respond immediately at all temperatures. The measured data is processed through a control system that interprets and translates the electronic signatures of the transmitters. Then the data is outputted via a panel in the control room. The installed sensors report gas leaks according to the defined alarm levels. Therefore, effective countermeasures can be initiated early, by the safety engineer or automatically. A plant properly equipped with a gas detection system and an individualized safety concept will achieve a maximum level of safety. With these measures, the safety engineer and the technician can ensure a smooth production process and the safety of their employees.